I am scarifying nonies, and this is a important part of uh, your success if, if you're going to be planting nonies from seed. If you have a ripe noni fruit that's soft, you can let it wait another week, and um, then when it's mushy, you squish it with a lot of water, and you squeeze the whole thing through some cheesecloth, like we did here, and then you, you can just, um, the seeds and, and the goo, just let it all dry out. Don't put it in too bright of a sun, but just in a dry place for um, three or four days until it's fairly dry. Then you take your fingernail clippers, and the noni has basically what looks like a fingernail. You have a fat end and a skinny end, and you clip the fingernail end, the skinny end. That will allow the water to get into the seed. If you don't clip with your fingernail clippers, then your noni seeds will just sit there and they will never sprout. You will literally be waiting six months and nothing will happen. But if you clip the seeds like this, then within a month, then they will sprout and probably even within a week and a half and days. So you can just clip off about one quarter of the seed and when you look at it, you'll, you'll be able to see that you, you created a small opening. You didn't actually damage anything in there, but you created a small opening so that the water will be able to get in there, the moisture will be able to get in there when you put the seeds in the soil. And most of these actually will sprout. Okay. That's it. He's using my knife and nail clippers.